What's up guys and welcome to Airport Sim. Very excited for this one. So this is a ground handling simulator. Anything that happens on the ramp is fair game here. We're talking about, you know, chalking the wheels on the planes, uh, hooking them up to generators, refueling them, dealing with the luggage, driving the jet bridges so passengers can get on, all the stuff happening behind the scenes that you don't normally get to see. This is a simulator about those jobs and i'm very excited you guys know i love airplanes i love everything about it i mean look look, look at what we have here thank you to the devs they sent me a little care package they heard i was excited this is not sponsored or anything i just i, I genuinely just love playing stuff like this on this channel so hope you guys are excited and i i will say fair warning this is an intense game so we're going to be doing the scenarios you've got scenario free play or challenge we're going to be doing scenarios we're going to start off with this first one here at keflavik Keflavik International Airport is the largest airport in the main hub of Iceland. It was opened on the 23rd of March, 1943 by the U.S. Army during World War II as a replacement for a small British landing strip at Garor to the north. It has one terminal named after the Icelander Leifur Eriksson, who is thought to have been the first European to set foot on continental North America. Looks like we've got a scenario here. We've got three options. I don't think we're gonna be doing all three. It, like, you guys are gonna see, this is tough. I, I tried to shoot this earlier, like yesterday, and I thought I was just gonna be able to hop in and and, and do it. I You have to do the tutorials, and it, it doesn't walk your, you know, walk you through it at all. It doesn't hold your hands. You, you have to know exactly what you're doing. So, welcome to the tarmac, baby. We've got our tablet here, and this gives you your operations. So you can see we've got three objectives here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to complete all three. I don't think I have the knowledge to be able to do that. But um, at 4.15, we've got AS7312D taking off for Lisbon. Then at 4.25, we've got a plane coming in. And then I think we're turning this plane around and sending it back out. So maybe we'll see if we could complete this one and maybe this will be episode two or something. But uh, you can see here, these are our tasks. We're to connect the GPU, wait for service to start, connect the jetway, load in passengers. Holy cow. Okay. First up is GPU and that's where I kind of struggled. Uh, I, I didn't know what to do. We had to play a couple tutorials to learn about it. Let me take my headphones off. You can hear there. We've got noise canceling headphones to help us out, but uh, this is our tug. A lot of stuff runs through him. Let me turn our flashlight on here. Look at that beauty. So we're going to hop inside here and uh, we're going to get this engine started. This is the plane that we are going to get to take off. And I think our GPU is over there. So GPU is a uh, not a graphics processing unit. It's a ground power unit. And that is what powers the plane when it's on the ground. Obviously, planes can power off of their own fuel and the engines and stuff, but it's a lot more economical and, and cheaper to power them on these things. So we're going to back this thing up here. Beautiful. All right. Notice how there's like, there's no to do. There's no hold. I mean, you have the list of things to do, but there's no like, you know, this is where you go, go click this button, that sort of thing. It's, it's all very realistic, which is exciting and also tough. So there's going to be a lot of tutorials being watched. So we're going to bring this back around here. I don't think we're supposed to go in the, the red the red area is there. We're going to take the slow way around and do I just, I, I love this so much, man. I'm so fascinated by this part of the world, <laughs> like an airport ramp. Like everyone else is upstairs having their drinks, you know, sitting in their lounges, doing whatever. And these guys are down here just working so hard. Going to shut this thing and, and get out here. But yeah, everyone's up there living their lives, yelling at the gate agents and things like that. And then these guys are down here just doing their job. Look at that beauty. All right. So to do this part, connect the GPU. What we're going to do is we're going to come around to the back of the GPU. We're going to open this up. And again, you have to memorize all this. We are going to go into power mode and then you've got to hold this down for about three seconds. You want to make sure she's running before you let go of it. Looks like our voltage is up. And now we're waiting for the oil temperature to get up to, to 80. So while we're doing that, we have the nose wheel light switch, inner phone jack, pilot call switch. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and that's gonna reveal kind of a little socket here. We're gonna take this socket and we're gonna plug this into the side of the aircraft. So now the aircraft is gonna be powered by this thing as long as we switch it from idle to run and we turn on the DC output and I think 
We should be good to go. If we check our tablet, I do think we might, hold on. Oh, it's if we, if we click it, it, it will show you up in the top left. We're good to go, okay. Connect Jetway at stand four. Well, at, that's a little bit concerning. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really, I, I, I didn't do the tutorial for this. So I'm, I'm assuming, oh gosh, okay. Go WASDI movement, lift up and lower the jetway with these. Enter to confirm connection. Enter first person view. Okay. Well, this, this is. Do we have, we have lights. I don't even know which, which direction are we currently facing. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to go to the left. Bro. I, oh, hold on. Hold on a second. I think we're gonna have to go to the left and down. I, I really I really don't want to hit the airplane here. We're gonna lower this down, and we're gonna turn her. Ca how do you how do you cab rotate? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, we're getting close. I'm thinking we're gonna get these. I'm paying attention to the the wheel thing here. Oh man. Oh man, this is really not good. Oh, we're next to the engine, bro. Are we even close? <laughs> <laughs> what? Let me let me see what we're doing here. I mean, I don't know how to move this thing. We got to kind of angle it to the left, right? I probably should have watched the tutorial on this. This is not good. In fact, I would venture to say this is very bad. This definitely does, doesn't look. I've never walked. I guess you typically do walk down. I mean, we're we're looking pretty good. We just got to figure out how to turn this thing. Okay, v ah, there we go. That's helpful. V is to change the camera. There we go. Okay. I think we might want to go up a little bit. Just please don't hit the airplane, Trev. Let me, let me check this. Hold on. See, I don't... Oh, gosh, we're just going to have to keep going. Just don't hit the airplane. Don't hit the airplane. Don't hit the airplane. Okay. Is that... Can I hit enter? Nope. It's not... Okay. I mean, we're, we're very, there's gotta be a, a button to rotate you. Oh God, the air, yep, we, we just hit it. There's gotta be a, a button to rotate the cab that we're missing here. Oh, ah, I see, I see, I see. There we go, it's Q, it's Q and E, that makes sense. Okay, there we go, that's what we were, that's what we were missing. That's what a tutorial could have potentially provided us, but that's fine. Can we connect? I, I feel like that's pretty dang good. Let's go! I think we got it. They're opening up the, the door. Thank you, flight attendants. Stairs must be attached, it says. Load in passengers. Okay. We've got 56 passengers coming. Are they... They're coming down the jet bridge. Let's go! All right, we did it. Look at that. We only scuffed up the side of it. Don't worry. It's not going to bother the airworthiness. And I'm sorry about the delay here. You know, it, it is what it is. It happens. Okay, it's fine. It's not a big deal. You're going to get to your destination safe and sound. Hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Good luck and Godspeed. All right, what's our next uh, Our next objective is going to be loading the passengers, move the jetway, retract the canopy, move it to the rest area. Then we're going to disconnect the GPU. We're going to remove the cones. We're going to wait for pushback clearance. We're going to push back the plane and then move away from it. I haven't done pushback testing, but I'm imagining that's a luggage cart. Hmm... We'll, we'll, f we'll find a, a pushback machine somewhere around here, I'm sure. Do you use the tug? I don't know if you use the tug or not. I don't think so. I think you use the thing that, like, grips around the front wheel. That'd be interesting. I love that you can actually see the people loading here. This is so cool. All right, well, we're going to wait for them to get on board, and we're going to get this bird out of here. It's only going to be a little bit late. It's 4.15. Honestly, we're... we're Oh, it's 4.09. Odyssey, we're doing okay. It's it's not terrible. Okay, the passengers are on board. We're gonna get back up here in the jetway. Unconfirm the connection. I don't... I don't know how to retract the canopy. R for retract? No. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna pull it. I'm just gonna pull it back. It's fine. Maybe retracting the canopy was already done. I'm not sure. We're gonna move this thing back. We're gonna get her out of here into the rest area. Is this... I feel like, is that kind of a rest area? Nope. Wants me to keep going? What would be considered the, the rest area to you? Uh, oh, back right there. Okay. There it is. All right, we got it. Driving that thing is, is not easy at all. Okay, so the APU is your auxiliary power unit. 
Tutorial Trevor here again. Basically, I think this is like in between running off the GPU here, this giant trailer, and then running off the plane's own power. It's kind of like the transition period that they'll use that so they can go through all their pre-flight stuff. So we're going to go to the flight deck, APU. Go ahead and turn that on. We're going to wait for that to start, and you can actually hear that back here in the back. The clicking and then the... I always hear this on flights and I never knew what that was. So this is the APU firing up. This is giving the plane temporary power for it to run on before the engines get started. Does it have something to do with those? I'm not sure. This is a dream for me. I just love that I'm like learning about this stuff. So it takes a while for it to power up. And then once it's powered up, we're going to be able to come back here and we're going to disconnect the GPU pretty much in the same order, I think. I think, I think we're gonna go to no DC output, back to idle, undo it, and then engine off. I'm not 100%, so we're, we're gonna undo it, back to idle. Let's disconnect this bad boy. We're gonna put this back on the side here. Make sure we shut this, that's pretty important. Can you imagine if somebody left that open? Oh gosh. Okay, then we're gonna be able to stop this. We can close the hatch and we could go, I mean, let's, we should, we should probably move it. I was going to say, I don't think it's, oh, it says clear the area of vehicles and cones. All right. I was going to say, I, I don't think it's a, a part of the actual objective, but we're okay. So we moved this. Let's get out of here. We could probably disconnect this just in case we don't want to move it around later. Now we're going to move these cones. These cones are purposefully spread out to make sure that people and, and passengers and things don't potentially get caught in the jet blast or anything else. For right now, it appears we're pretty safe. So we're going to pick up all of these. One last one right here. Oop. I think you can only hold five at a time. Drop these over here. Pick up this last one. Throw it down. Then we have the wheel chocks. So we're going to pick up the front chalk. We've also got chocks on each of the rear wheels. Which we're going to pick up like so. And it says... We've got one cone or vehicle or something in the... Is it this? It might be this. There we go. Okay. Get that out of here. So, next up, we're pushing back the plane and moving away from it. Looks like we've got our guidance guys coming out. I don't know how to push it back. Bro, are you talking to somebody on a line attached to the plane? Oh, gosh. I really should have done this tutorial, huh? I'm going to regret this. Plane's ready to go, Trev. We got to get her out of here. Shoot, I don't know what to do. All right, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check the map so you can see all the vehicles on the map. Does anything look like something you would push back? What? It, what is this thing? Can't use that. This vehicle here, this this looks like a push. Is this Bison D1000? This looks like a, a pushback vehicle to me. I'm just going to drive it over there. We're going to see what happens. All right, let's hope for the best. Here we go. No mind me, a hundred million dollar jet, however hundred million, how many hundred millions, I'm not even sure. We're, we're just, uh, we're driving through the, the no-go area. We gotta get these guys out of here. They've waited long enough. Okay, the thing, does this go in the front or the back? Um, sh dude, I don't know. Bro, what do you do? I'm gonna assume we're just gonna pull up to the front. Let's give her a go. Oh. Hey, it's it's fine. It's not a big deal. It is. Not, it's just a mirror. It's just a mirror. As long as we don't hit the plane, we're fine. This this feels like maybe it's not right. It feels like maybe I I should have gone to school before being trusted with such an important job as this. Is there anything else? Do we use the tug? I can't see anything behind me. We're just gonna send it. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We just we need to get these people out of here. A S A P. All right, we're gonna get back in this. Let's fire her up. Come on, tuggy tug. It just feels like that other one, is that used for bigger planes or something? Because it feels like the nose of that wouldn't fit underneath. Unless there's some sort of like a, is there an extension we can do with that? I don't think this is right. Let me see here. Remove before flight. Hmm. How do you push back a plane? <laughs> oh, oh, this, oh, wow. Hold on. There's a live stream of somebody. It's literally called Let's Push It. I haven't seen that vehicle. We need this thing. This is what we were missing. Okay, there are multiple multiple vehicles that can attach to that. I'm gonna take another one of these these bison, but I I think we need to attach to that, and then we attach that to the front of the plane. I'm 90% sure. So let me just pull up to this thing, and we're gonna see connect it. 
Beautiful. So now how do we... How do we drive with this? Because you're going to have to... Okay, I'm just... I'm just... Is this okay? Is is it still is it still connected? Are we I mean I don't think it's I don't think it's good for I would imagine maybe you drive backwards with it, but it's 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 fine. It there's nothing to see here. Hi. You, just... know, you like to play all these simula you like to play all these simulator games and dress up for the jobs. Maybe you should try just getting a real job. No. I, don't, I mean I'm <laughs> Would you be concerned if you looked out your window and you saw the grounds crew? <laughs> Just drive, drive with this. You know, I try not to look out the window because I'm always scared of what I'm gonna see. In. Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you out of here. You're gonna All set right. a fire. Okay. Love you. Gotta, oh, love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. It's gonna it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. We got this. I'm I'm gonna watch some more tutorials. Okay. Listen, it's it's gonna be okay. So the problem is, I don't want to hit that guy. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get this thing turned around. We're gonna fling her around this way. Don't hit the engine, Trev. We're good. We're good. Don't hit the man. We're good. Bring it this way. I mean, this thing turns on a dime. I'll give it that. We can bring it back this way. And then, shoot. If we can, if we can get it straight. Mother sucker, dude. This, it, it almost acts like it's, it's broken or something. I hope this is right. I feel like we're really close. Let me, let me just, just get it like that. Is that, is that good? It looks like this piece right here goes there. Oh, of course it's not at the right height. Okay. I was going to say it, it did look a little bit close to the ground. So we're going to back this up a little bit. We're going to jack this up a little bit and we're going to be able to attach this bad boy. Let's go. Nothing a little trial and error can't help with. Okay. Maybe a little too tight there. Oop. Didn't want to go down that much. Make sure this is open. It's weird because you got to go the opposite of what you think. Yes! Let's go! She's attached! All right. Push push this bird back. Push it back. Push it back. Push it back. I, I think... Oh, God. We're okay. Try to go in a straight line, Chuff. Oh, 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 oh. This is a bit scary in it. I, there's got to be a better way to get this thing there once it's connected It's easy to drive with but when you're driving just by yourself with this pole in the way. It's not easy. Look at us go, baby Yes, sir Get them out of here. Are we going the right way? I feel like they're purposefully moving this way Oh Oh Hold on. I actually might be in more control than I think I think we want to we want to try to get them into this green box we're gonna push him this way. Might need a little bit less. Oop, oop, oop. We're good. Back. Hold on. We're fine. We're we're fine. Don't don't you worry. <laughs> Everyone's jostling around. The bags are falling out of the overhead compartments. Babies are crying. You're fine. Are you in there? I, f I feel like I feel like we got you in there. Is it is it not good enough? We got this thing all sorts of effed up. I I have an idea. We're gonna unhook it here from our machine. We can fix our machine easier than we can that. So we're gonna disconnect that. We got jackknifed here. We're gonna back away from it, and we're gonna be able to be able to fix ourselves up this way. It's gonna be a lot lot easier. All right, now we can come straight on. Nothing to see here, folks. It is all good. Hopefully, if we can't connect this, we're in trouble. Got it connected. And now it should be able to push back normally. I don't understand where you want me to push it back to because I feel like we did a pretty damn good job here. It took a while to get there, but I, I feel like we did it. Is that not what you want? Oh, push back, it worked, okay. Supervisor here is calling us in for sure. So we're gonna back away from the plane. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> or get it. Might as well just drive this thing straight home and never come back because we're fired. Move away from the plane here. I kind of want to see your take off and stuff. Probably want to put this in a safe area. I'm going to put it with our other uh, vehicles and stuff over here. See you later! It was it was great helping you. I look forward to working in the daytime to be honest. This is kind of tough at night, but first job of the day had to be done. Definitely wouldn't be getting blasted by jet wash and stuff here. That is so cool. <laughs> Just grow up so fast. 
They're like, we just got to know that plane and he's already leaving. All right. Well, that uh, that wraps up our first job here as a grounds crewman. I'm going to head out to this this truck and I, I kind of want to follow the plane and, and see where he goes and what he does. We're maybe going to be able to see him take off. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Dude, this game is so sick. It is so realistic. There's so much to like. I love that I'm actually learning things as we go. Definitely want a, a daytime mission if we can get it. I don't think you're supposed to be this close behind the plane, Trev, but it's it's okay. We're just going to check her out. Uh, if you guys want some more, let me know. I definitely think we need to watch some more tutorials. I didn't want to watch too many tutorials because I like, you know, showing you guys my first reactions and things and, and whatever else, but obviously it, it, it physically isn't possible to complete the game without at least watching some. I'm gonna check the map here. I mean, we've, oh boy. Dude, this is crazy. Look at how big this is. You have a full airport here, and this is a one terminal airport. There are multiple other airports, so he's gonna be taxing all the way down, taking a left, and then I'm assuming taking off from this runway. It's gonna be like another 15 minutes, but I'm I'm down to follow him. I mean, I, I would just sit out here and watch planes fly around I, and just, just you can be on the tarmac. Look at this. Look, we got this long runway. And I definitely wish it was daytime so we could actually see the plane coming at us. But it's kind of moody and a little bit scary as it is. Hopefully we're not in his way. Just taxiing out to the runway. I think they said there were only 56 people on that plane. And there they go. We're going to want to get in and this thing started so we can chase them. I think they're probably gonna end up outrunning us though. Usually they stop before takeoff, right? Let's get out. I wanna hear the, the engines fire up. We'd be dead here, right? I'm pretty sure. And there they got dude this sounds the realism the everything that almost brings a tear to my eye I, i'm i'm a bit of an av geek I, I wouldn't say i'm an expert by any means but i just like I, I just i think airplanes and airports and things are so cool that was awesome all right if you guys want a part two let me know drop a like if you guys enjoyed there they go peace out